Hello, my name is Adam Hughes. I'm an application engineer with Go Engineer, and today we're going to take a look at a new SolidWorks product, SolidWorks Visualize. So before we get started, where can we go to download this? Simply go to SolidWorks.com, go to Login, Customer Portal, enter your login information, and browse to SolidWorks Visualize here under the Downloads category. Click on SolidWorks Visualize, type in your information, and then download now. You can also just search SOLIDWORKS Visualize and click the download button there. That will bring you to the same place. Alright, so now that we've got that out of the way, let's take a look at what SOLIDWORKS Visualize looks like. One awesome thing about SOLIDWORKS Visualize is that it is a standalone product so that you don't need to have SOLIDWORKS installed on the machine. Uh, simply just open up SOLIDWORKS files and you can start going to work. Now we're going to start off with a new project and the first thing I'm going to show you here is the Visualize Simple User Interface. And so that consists of five buttons here down at the bottom of the screen that kind of walk you along the path to creating a render. So the first thing I'm going to do is import a model. Import, browse for my file. Now one thing that's worth mentioning is monitor file will update the render if the source file the SOLIDWORKS file is updated. So we'll click OK and bring in this file. While this is loading in, let's go ahead and check into SOLIDWORKS and take a look at the, what this actually looks like. So here we have two rings, two diamonds, both with some colors applied here in the native SOLIDWORKS interface. And now we're going to make this look ultra realistic and visualize. So once I bring it in, I can rotate it around, kind of get it in the exact location that I want. And we can get started. Step one, import the model. Step two, paint it. So I'll go to my library, select some of my favorites, like 24 karat gold and diamond. And one of the frequent questions is what if the color that I want is not here or what if the material is not exactly what I'm looking for. You can also click on this web icon. This allows you to go to the cloud and access any materials that are not currently on your machine. So any one that has a green check is currently loaded on my local drive. But if I wanted to, I could simply click, drag something in space and I'd be prompted with the download. On the upper right hand corner you see the download icon there. So this is gasoline. Knowing that's, what, that's not what I want, I'm going to go ahead back to my local library and bring in 24 karat gold. Next up here, let's go apply some scenes. Again, the same uh, cloud interface is also available here. But I'll just go ahead and drop in Dazzler background, sure, why not? And the scenes can also be rotated too. So notice the light here in this area. I can adjust the way the lighting is positioned in the model. So you also notice this is a live render, so that as I'm moving the scene or as I move the part, the render continues to update. Here at the very top of our screen, we have three render options preview fast and accurate. I find that fast works really well for adding colors, uh, adding textures, and when you're ready to do the final render, jump up to the high render, accurate render. Depending on what kind of graphics card you have to kind of dictates which mode you need to be in here, whether it be preview, fast, or accurate. So we've applied our scene, the next step is our camera. So let's click on our camera, and from here we can add more cameras, we can lock cameras, maybe we want three different views, a front, top, right, maybe a front and an ISO, we can lock the cameras there. We can also change the brightness, move the brightness up and down, and we can also adjust the perspective until you get exactly what you like. There's also some cool filters you can put on here, like boost, or if you want to do black and white. We'll just leave them off for now. Now that we have something that's close to what we like, we can either click render or we can select a render profile. By right clicking on the render button we can bring up our profiles and we can easily generate a rendered image given our specifications. 
Here, I already have one done. So I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. Took about two minutes. That's the result. Now at the beginning of this, I told you that if the SOLIDWORKS file updated, so would the render file. Let's take a look at how that works. Here I'm going to change my display state. I've simply just added some more diamonds in here. And I'm going to save this. Then I'm going to go back to visualize, and you'll notice that I get this window. The following source file has been modified. Do you want to re-import? Yes. So when you go back to visualize, it notices the change in the CAD model and propagates the updates in our render. Here we can just copy and paste some of our materials over. And our render is updated. Now the next model I want to show you here real quick is this Espresso Maker. Now for this model I'm going to jump into the standard user interface. You can do that by hitting the spacebar button. And we just have a couple more options here. One thing I want to note here is that we have our source Espresso Maker SolidWorks file. And each of the models kind of has its own little preview. So if you wanted to change something in particular you could. I'm going to zoom out here. Take a look at this whole file. Here I've kind of added just a default cork ground. Um, one of the things I might want to change is, hey, the color of this cup here. So let's go to my appearances. And instead of using a regular glass, let's use a frosted glass. I think that might look better. I can do things like adjust the index of refraction to control how the light bends through the part. Let's go ahead and zoom out now and then take a look at this side plate. Let's go ahead and change this side plate to red. Change the roughness of this maybe to give it a different reflective values. And if we wanted to, we could also load a texture. Let's go ahead and load a texture and see what this looks like. Now I can change the tile of this so that it's smaller or bigger. So red carbon fiber. So a pretty cool feature all in all. So that's a great example of how to modify an appearance. So let's go ahead and add our blue back in, just so we can make it like the other side. The last thing we're going to take a look at is field of depth. This is another option in our camera tab. Here we're going to check on field of depth, and then go ahead and, and tell Visualize where to focus. So we're going to focus on the SOLIDWORKS logo, and change our f-stop to something small. And what we should see is that the SOLIDWORKS logo comes in sharp and everything else is kind of blurry around it. And that's the kind of effect we're getting there. So this is the first look of SOLIDWORKS Visualize. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please add them in the comments below. And as always, visit our website, www.goengineer.com, for new exciting videos on SOLIDWORKS Visualize. Mm -hmm.